Welcome to WMI-TV News. I'm Laura Singleton. This news is being driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Today's top story is regarding the Sholo Police Department. The Sholo City Council voted earlier this month to approve the $533, $747,000 purchase of 14 brand new vehicles for the Sholo Police Department. The new fleet will include Ford Expedition SUVs, an F-150 pickup, and several Ford Interceptor sedans and two Interceptor hybrids. All vehicles are scheduled to be paid off using 2019 and 2020 budget funds, according to Police Chief Joe Shelley. A third of the cost will be paid in fiscal year 2019, and the remaining two-thirds paid in fiscal year 2020, added City Manager Ed Muter. Sholo Ford owner Guy Hatch also answered questions and thanked the City of Sholo, the Police Department, and the community for their business. See the full story in your Tuesday, January 29th edition of The Independent. Now to Navajo County. Earlier this month, Navajo County signed on with over 1,000 other government entities to sue dozens of manufacturers and distributors of opioids. Johnson & Johnson, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid are among the defendants. The cities and counties are alleging that for over 20 years, the drug companies advertised opioids as being non-addictive. The drugs were also considered appropriate for long-term pain relief. But the counties and cities say those claims have proven untrue. They cite a statistic from the National Institute of Drug Abuse, which reports that 47,000 Americans died from opioid overdose in 2017. See reporter editor Terrence Corgan's story in your Tuesday Independent for more information about when and how the case is expected to begin. Now, your weather forecast is brought to you by Pediatric MultiCare West, Dr. Vera Bennett and staff, where kids come first. Although the morning began with overcast skies, the afternoon should shape up to be sunny and calm with highs in the low 50s. Thursday will be mostly sunny and breezy with a high near 53 degrees. The overnight lows will continue to be at or below freezing. Also be prepared for a 40% chance of rain on Thursday night. More details on any of the news you've heard today can be found on our website, our Facebook page, or the print edition of your Tuesday or Friday Independent. And remember, today's news was driven to you by Horn Auto Center, the Chevy store that saves you more. Thank you for watching. I'm Laura Singleton.